Hey everyone, how are you? In today's video, we are gonna be doing something very, very interesting. This is the first DS refurb that I'm ever doing on my channel um, due to a really, really popular demand. This one's got a couple of problems, but that's fine. We don't judge here on the Retro Future. Uh, one of the main ones being that the screen is pretty totaled um, and also the hinge is, um, well, pretty much non-existent. So we've got quite a lot to deal with. Uh, let's get into it. So I've got a couple of things here which I had to wait for before making this video. One of which is a really, really nice replacement shell, which I got for about £10 uh, for this to go into. And I've also got a replacement screen which cost me, I think, about £4. Um, so that comes to about £15. The DS was donated to me very kindly by my friend John over at the Retro DX Facebook page. And um, yeah, so in terms of like if this is really worth it, I'm gonna say no, because you can buy these things in very, very nice condition for around 14 pounds. Um, but for the purpose of the video, we're just gonna uh, do this anyway. But you, most of the time I'm doing refurbs because I'm increasing the value of the product um, from a really cheap thing to something worth quite a lot. So let's get into it. Right, and here's the finished product. Let's go ahead and chuck a game in it and see if uh, we can get it actually working. I haven't tried it with a game yet, although I have gone through the system um, settings and done all of that. It looks 
pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. It looks really, really great on camera. Um, I really like how it has the similar finish to my 3DS, which by the way, I'm gonna be um, doing a let's refurb on this and just tightening up the hinge because the hinge is absolutely screwed. I've actually ordered a uh, replacement hinge and I've got that here. So if you guys would like to see that, then definitely let me know. But yeah, I really like it. It's gonna look good on the shelf, that's for sure. So it's not reading the game cartridge, which is never a good sign. Let's give that another go. This may have to have a part two to it. Oh no, there we go. Fantastic. Okay, so we've got the game working. Volume works as well. On both sides. Press start. Oh no. Okay, so I'm noticing the start and select buttons aren't fully working or they're just not used in this part of the game. Um, I wasn't able to replace the bottom screen um, piece because that is actually the touch screen. Uh, this was my game by the way when I was a kid so um, cool to see it working. Uh, yeah it looks like everything works absolutely fine which is great I just need to um, I think potentially just readjust the silicone membrane under that and then it'll be fine but yeah it looks it looks pretty fantastic. I can't express how unpleasant it was trying to put this thing back together. Honestly, it was it was grueling. The um these LNR buttons have like tiny little springs on them and that that was just just tough trying to get those back in. Um it's really a very very complex um thing to be taken apart. Well, I mean, not in compared to like some things, but it's just really not very nice. And then you have to get the microphone cable weaved underneath the cartridge slot, which was extremely difficult, but all in all, I think it's come out pretty well. Thanks again to John for um, giving me this to fix on the channel. I'm, as I said, happy that I've got a, uh, a nice um, kind of piece to go with this. And I actually don't have a working DS Lite in my collection. So those things to one side now. I've got two more DSs. So let's get into I'm joking. I'm not going to do them now. But um, I'm going to have another Let's Refurb fixing uh, or replacing the shell on this. This was actually my DS that I had um, as a kid. So that's really cool. That's the first DS I got. And then this is my brother's um, DSi, so which this is completely toast. So we're gonna see two Let's Refurbs on those in the future. Um, but for now, this has been uh, the retro future. I've been refurbishing a DS Lite, and I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, please smash the like button, subscribe, and put the notification bell things on, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.